Welcome everyone to this video on business finance and the objectives that are going to be covered today um, is just a single one and that's share valuation. So let's begin. So with share valuation, we have investors, okay? And investors, what they do is they inject capital, okay? They inject capital. Um, so um, all companies are going to require money, okay? And investors are people who can supply that money, okay? But they supply that money, in other words, they inject capital in the form of equity, okay? in the form of equity to a particular company in return for shares. All right, so that's what's happening here. All right, we have a company, or we'll call it a firm, and then we have a bunch of investors here. And if a firm ever needs money, they can issue shares, all right, they can issue shares in return for equity. So these investors are going to get shares and the, uh, the firm is going to get equity in return. So that's how it works. And this equity is in the form, uh, is capital. Okay, so these shares, all right, these shares are expected to pay dividends in return, all right? So investors are giving money, but money is never given for free, okay? It's all, <laughs> in this context, it's never going to be given for free. These guys are going to want a return, okay? They're going to be like, hey, you know what? I want a return. And these returns are called dividends. Okay, but a question is, what is the value of a share to an investor? If an investor is going to give a firm equity and is going to get shares in return that are going to give dividends, a question is, how much are these shares actually worth? Should I actually be investing in this firm? Or is there another firm out there that I should be investing in instead? Okay, so... It's basic, it's very basic to find the value of a share. So I'm going to do this, the value of a share. All you have to do is calculate the present value, okay, the present value of the sum of the cash flows generated, generated by the share okay so what I'm saying is you're going to just find the the present value of every single cash flow that the share produces all right and let's do an example to show exactly what I mean here so let's look at this example it says consider a share which offers the following it's going to offer a dividend of three dollars in one year so in one year's time the company is like hey you know what we're going to pay out dividends and the dividends going to be three dollars and then in the second year the share can be sold for five dollars and we have that the expected rate of return is $15. And furthermore, the question is, what is the value of this share today? Remember that timelines are always a very nice way of describing the situation. Basically, in the first period, we're going to get $3. And in the second period, we're going to get um, $5 if we sell the share. But we're going to assume we are selling the share. So given these two cash flows, the value of my share is going to be equal to the sum of the present values, isn't it? That's what I described in the previous page. So let's call the present value of this $3 PV1, and let's call the present value of this PV2, okay? So the present value of this $3 cash flow is going to be 3 divided by 1 plus 0 0.15 because that's 15 percent and the present value of the second cash flow which is five dollars is going to be five over one um, plus 0 0.15 to the power of two because we're discounting twice so remember that the present value procedure is a discounting process and furthermore it's a dividing process and so the value of my share is defined to be equal to the sum of the present values. So it's going to be equal to 3 
over 1.15, we can simplify it like that, plus 5 over 1.15 to the power of 2. This term right here is going to be equal to um, $2.61, whilst this term right here is equal to $3.78, and thus we could conclude that the value of this share with these qualities is going to be um, $6.39 to two decimal places by the calculator. So as you can see, this is a very simple example of evaluating the value of a share. Okay, but let's do one more example just to get everything ready and steady. Uh, we're going to consider another share and it's going to pay a dividend of three in one year, seven in two years, and on that same on that same second year, we have that it can be sold for $35. And with the expected rate being 17%, we can now go ahead and calculate the value of this share. First things first, in the first period, we'll have a dividend of $3. In the second year, we're going to have a dividend of 7 but we're also going to sell it at that same period afterwards for $35. And so the value of this share is going to be equal to 3 all over 1 plus 0 0.17 to the power of 1 since I'm discounting once plus 7 over 1 plus 0 0.17 to the power of 2 since I'm discounting twice and the fact that I'm selling it at the same period which is the second year this 35 is also going to be discounted at discounted like this okay with the squared alright so I hope that makes sense we get two cash flows in the second year the the dividend and the selling price okay and therefore they have to both be discounted at this um, in this way and so the value of this share is going to be 2.56 plus 5.11 plus 25.57 okay and finally just summing all these up we get a final value of thirty three dollars and twenty four cents okay so the difference between this example and the previous one is that one can um, reap the the gains from the dividends of a share and at the same time sell the share during the same period but nothing will change um, when it comes to the discounting factor. And that concludes this lesson on evaluating shares. Cut study time with concise video summaries by top students. Visit SpoonFeedMe.com to view more free videos in this course and hundreds of others.